This is Channel 2 News. Coverage you can count on. This is just one of several developments that have started coming this way in the North Valleys. With a large demand for new housing in the region, developers are looking to build in the North Valleys area. That story tops Channel 2 News at 530. A new housing development could bring hundreds of new homes to Reno in the near future. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here tonight. Today, the Reno City Council approved the North Valley's Estates Master Plan and amendments to the zoning map. The development would be broken up into three project sites located on the west side of Pan American Drive in between Military Road and Lemon Drive in the North Valley's area. Amanda Ketchlage is live in the newsroom with the very latest on this development. And Amanda, the council only addressed one of the project sites today though, right? Yeah, that's right, Kristen. They talked about Unit 3, which would bring 66 homes to the area, but that doesn't include the other two sites, which can make up hundreds of homes in the North Valley's area. And no one from the public came to comment, but the City Council did express their concerns. But I would hope that when we come with final map, that the developers are willing to step up and give some assistance to schools, give some assistance to our parks. The Rubicon Design Group was not present at today's meeting, but the council addressed how the new development could impact overcrowded schools and traffic in this area. And once built, the North Valley's estates wouldn't exactly be cheap. The three to four bedroom homes are estimated to cost more than $300,000. The city says they want to move forward with what's best for the community. Council people we take really seriously is making sure that the new development that is coming forward is done in a methodical way and that we have looked at, you know, the broad range of impacts. And the city will be asking for more feedback from the community at a neighborhood advisory board meeting tomorrow. That's going to be at Evelyn Mount Community Center at 530 p.m. Covering the story, Amanda Ketchledge, Channel 2 News.